Okay, time to do this. I'm a little nervous because of how long the final boss battles are, but still. Seriously, I, I'm kind of afraid. Oh no, do we have to have that accessory equipped against the wind of destruction? So Tia's just behind this door, huh? Everyone ready? Understand that we are attempting the impossible. We need to work as one. I'm ready. Everyone is equipped. Yeah, let's go see Tia. I try to spread out my, access my good accessories pretty evenly among the party. Let's go to the place where Altago was born. Yeah. I, I may want to s make one last save just before I get into the arena. Just so I don't have to walk all the way back here in case there turns out to be more preparations necessary. Yeah, let's save right here. Giant globe. Probably representing all the tribes. Ah! Tia! So, Sias, he's... he has passed. It was originally my duty alone. But I got him involved and now he's gone. Fortunately, everything will return to nothing and the cycle of death and rebirth shall begin again. Like me, he was doomed from the start, and his death will not be in vain. Tia! She's not kidding around here. She's totally serious. Please, just stop it. Why are you doing this? You know it hurts you. Sais told you, didn't he? That this is my fate, my inexorable, inescapable destiny. I cannot stop these events. They are already in motion. All of Otago will be absorbed into the Wall of Souls soon after the rite has been completed. So this is the place where the rite of demise is to occur then. All the poor souls lost in the anomalies throughout Otago are being brought right to this very spot. Tia, stop this, please! I don't know how important this duty is to you, but I can tell you right now it's a low of malarkey. Well said, Dogie. He's right, Tia. Just stop this. Now! If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find another way. Cessation of this right would strip my existence of its meaning. And besides, I can't allow any more suffering to occur. And that's all I'd accomplish by delaying the inevitable. What? But Tia! A world that has lost its way and become engulfed in chaos. Too many lives have suffered and sought deliverance for too long. Postponing the end any longer will only result in more suffering, more pain, more disease. There's only one option available to me. Only one way I can make things right. I must fulfill my duty. I must bring about the end of the current Altago and give this world a new opportunity. Tia, you... It is true that the pain caused by the recent anomalies cannot be healed. The mad titanos, the multitudes of people suffering from Iskin fever. If all this was caused by the disorder that has accumulated in the land of Altago, then the disorder can only be made right for the complete destruction. And delaying the inevitable end will only result in more suffering. But that means... Don't tell me you... You didn't! You decided to do this because Maya cut Iskin fever, didn't you? Tia, you... You're kidding me! So that's why you decided to bring about the end of Altago with your own hands. I will never forgive you for killing my father. I was going to make you pay for it no matter what. But this... this is... It would have, to, it would have been better if you turned out to be simply evil. Adlo Kristen, I truly regret dragging you into all of this. 
You are an outsider. Our paths never should have crossed. I can only call it fate. The end is near. Draw your sword. Adol swore he would defeat this root of all existence and rescue Tia from her cruel fate. Adol! Heh, I'm with you. If Tia's doing this for all the right reasons, there's no stopping her. All we can do is the exact same thing. We'll do what we think is right and put an end to this vicious cycle. Yeah. That's the spirit. The eternal Ruta has ruled over Otago and governed all who dwell therein. What we are doing is, in essence, attempting to kill that root. But I will give my life for that cause. We will never give up Otago. In order to protect it, we will beat you, if that's what it takes. And we're going to bring you back with us. We made a promise. At all. It seems you really are different from the dragon warriors of the past. She, does she know all the dragon warriors? Does she inherit the memories of the previous elder? Who knows? Perhaps it is for the best that you are my last opponent. The moment you are defeated, your despair shall be that much greater. The destruction will take place and all will end painlessly. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She does not have much hit points, but I still don't want to waste any items in the first phase. Let us begin. I, Tia Luna, Rem, Iskalia, the Eldress of Iska who bears the world's demise, do solemnly beseech thee. O root that feeds upon despair, bring destruction to this land that may be reborn anew. Let all souls become as one, attain peace, and give birth to new life. Tia does not have a whole lot of hit points. But it's still pretty difficult to flashguard her attacks. Of course I want to try to flashguard her while she's close to one of the minions so I can take out one of them while damaging her at the same time. Okay, I actually hit the minion with Dragon Blaze. Seriously, they go down really fast. Okay, now's my opportunity. Alright, now for the next minion. Ah! Flames! Ouch! Oh yeah, I also have Elk equipped with an energy orb so he can get more SP just by walking around. Pretty convenient. Too bad he won't be in my party all the time. Anyways, you need to have a lot of Panacea's for all of the final battles. Otherwise, we're just gonna get screwed by Curse. Or Fear. I wasn't that overleveled, was I? Huh. Did we do it? You are indeed incredible to defeat me. If you are the ones, then maybe, just maybe. Hey! Hey, you alright? The fight is not over. Get ready. Now I can start using more items. What the hell? The current of souls changed. It can't be. Is this? Rule Ende, the root of all existence itself, your true opponent. It is the very order that governs the whole of Otago. Yikes. And I have to use every character. Hmm. 
Roll ending. Root of all existence. What the? Look at that thing. This is the root. There is no good or evil in the root. It is merely a reflection of Otago itself. Please. Please win. Yeah, this is where I have to start using retries. Oh boy. No bartering with a perfect kill or anything like that. Just go in there and win no matter what the cost. The, the dragon stage. The middle stage. I don't know what to call it. The arm stage. And then Adol gets the solo of the tech. This attempt is going to go on my wall of shame due to how sloppy it is. Even if it is a first try victory, technically. Seriously. Anyway, so here the boss is invulnerable until you can damage the heads enough. The heads all share the same hit points, so that's kind of a relief. And if you can find a way to hit multiple heads at once, that's even better. Unfortunately, they can flick free, so yeah, Panacea's have them all stocked up. Also, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of good AoEs here. I think Elk might have a decent Earth AoE, but that's about it. Sadly, th these other guys are not very smart when it comes to going after the heads. Just run to the corner. I, re I really wish they had they had Krushi for this battle instead, since she might be able to use her extra skill to damage multiple heads at once. Of course, it might be cons overkill anyway, so maybe not. Almost there. Yes. Ultimate strike. Obviously, you should have the uh, you should have that one uh, party item that increases your extra gauge speed. That way, you can hopefully get as many extras off as you can when it's vulnerable. Yeah, as you damage it, it's going to get more and more aggressive with its attacks, often using multiple patterns at once. Unlike me, you should probably buy more bandit bandanas instead of relying on Blue Jewel to reduce SP cost. Ah, I did not guard that perfectly. Aerial Orb. Maybe I should be using Aerial Orb instead of Tornado here, since Tornado's not big enough to get multiple heads anyway. If only it, if only it was smart enough to get all the heads. Uh-oh. This part's annoying because the ice kind of makes it difficult to run around without getting frozen. It's just like a Kishkal! Oh no. The, the Vortex ball, uh, uh, ball. It does leave the boss temporarily vulnerable, but not for long. It's doing it again! Curse you! That's just really annoying. Turan Vortex! Yes! Get him! Unfortunately, I did not fill up my extra gauge, so... Yes, this did not go as fast as I wanted it to. I really should have flash guarded more, just to fill up my extra gauge faster. Oh shit. Oh shit. Run! I'm just gonna hide in the corner and hope nothing bad happens. And it wasn't enough. I still avoid most of it, but not perfectly. And now the heads are so aggressive. Holy shit. 
If you're good, you may want to use Dogi to deal the majority of the damage against the heads instead. Since he does have the most... Uh, 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 he and Krushi are pretty much tied for the most attack right now. Actually, I think Krushi may have slightly higher attack due to her weapon being stronger for some reason. Gah. Ground Fang, I should not use it unless I'm right between two heads. Oh, Terran Vortex is probably better for when I'm just targeting a single head. Dogi! Ultimate Strike! Kaiser Rush, but it was a little too late. Ah! So much fire! Ah, guard! Holy shit, that's a lot of guarding. Hopefully that'll fill up my extra gauge and allow me to finish you off next time. Ground Fang! Ugh! No! That was close. What, should I use an item or not? Because I am kind of dying. Cheagle Extract. Unfortunately, I should not have done that because the next team has it much harder than the current one. I should have just switched to Dogi and hope for the best. That would have been the smartest choice. Yes, that would have been better. Uh. Oh no, everyone's frozen! Ah! This is bad. I don't want to- I want- I don't- Oh shit, I got frozen again! Shit! What do I do? Uh, just keep Elk alive and hope for the best, I guess. Okay, once more! Kaiser Rush! Ura, 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 ura! You fool! You left yourself wide open! Die! Ura, ura, ura! Boom! Next phase. This one is pretty tough, even with Aisha sporting the bandit bandana. The boss has really high defenses in its unstunned state. The idea is to try to attack it frequently enough to get stun meter up before it can deplete. But easier said than done, of course. Of course, you're better off saving your extra for when it's stunned, when its defenses are low. Ah! May want to have Krushi buff everyone before actually doing it, just because, just to deal a little bit more damage. I have no idea if leveling up her buff skill actually does anything, though. Oh shit! I did not guard properly. Ah! I used up a lot of items during this phase. It's kind of weird I wouldn't have enough for at all later. And Aqua Burst leveled up. It's almost maxed out. Tashafi! Deals a lot of damage. 20k. Fortunately, Geist has an item that increases the extra gauge speed, so that means I should be able to get off some extra skills whenever he gets stunned. Easier said than done, of course, because he's kicking my ass right now. Seriously. Ah! This laser's always catching off guard. Even Krushi is taking massive damage from these guys. Ah! The burst! Oh no! Damn, I've only guarded that one properly! 
Seriously, flash guard timing is just so tight in this game. It's always too early or too late. Ah, uh, vortex. Oh no. Okay, good. It's vulnerable again. Cross Crusher! I do not manage to get an extra skill, unfortunately. Shit. And this part kind of blacked out my screen for a while. I really wish they didn't have that glitch. Fortunately, it got solved pretty quickly for some reason. Ah! Oh no. This is definitely the hardest phase of the final boss, probably even harder than adults. Oh no. Guard! Ah! Something. I screwed up my timing at the end for some reason. Curses. Oh well, Adol's not gonna need the group healing stuff as much anyways, since he's solo. Ah, uh, I just need a little bit more. Dang it, if only we had Doggy for his battle because he actually has a stun gauge bonus. Ah, uh, I don't know which attacks have the most stun either. If I did, it would be a lot easier to just force everyone to only use their stun moves. Guard! Ah! Aqua Burst! And I had to use, shamefully use another item. Okay, vulnerable! Catastrophe! Ugh! Good thing Krushi's so strong. I wasn't sure I'd actually make it there. Last but not least, Adol versus the top section. Unlike me, you should probably use his extra skill on one of the uh, 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 minions just to finish it faster. Plus, it's, uh, it's easier to guard during the first phase than the second one, so yeah, it would be better to just use the extra skill now. Just finish off one of the, these minions faster. And yes, you'll still need Panacea for this section. Whoa. Stand between the pillars of fire. Yeah, this part's pretty nasty. Ah. Yeah, that's, pr that's not too easy for me. I should have unleashed an attack after that one. Shoot. But it's... It's very shameful and inefficient. It's a really testament as to how easy this game is compared to the Felgana games. Or the Pishtim games. Yeah. You get away with using so many items. You're bas you basically have a giant hit point bar almost as big as a boss. So you can pretty much get away with sloppiness as long as you dodge like 50% of everything. That's the bare minimum needed to win. Just dodge 50% of everything, spam items, and smack the boss to death. Ah! Guard! Oh no! Come on! That's another one down! Great right, on opposite sides. Ah, that was bad. Why did I dodge there? Oh, I interrupted your attack. Yeah, that was a trick. If you destroy it, it just as it's doing an attack, you'll it'll get interrupted. Okay, finish you off. Ah. And now, the boss is going to show its core. 
strange that it just reveals its weak point like that. It looks more like the cores from the uh, uh, other two phases of the boss. For a heal, this is the last spell, so no need. So may as well just use up my items. Ah. I should have used my extra skill then. Why didn't I? Damn it. Ah. Uh. I only got off my extra skill once in this battle. That's really shameful. Ow. Seriously, this did not go well at all. Ah, guard! Sword dance. Pentagram. Uh, the thing is, there's no time tra attack or way to save between the boss fights. There's no easy way for me to just do it all over again, try to win the most efficient way possible. It's really an odd design choice they did for this game. Seriously. It's like, the, the fact that the game is so easy means I also look worse while doing it, because my... Because you can be really sloppy and still succeed on the first attempt. Finally, I got off an extra skill. Ah! I don't get it. Why is my timing always off when uh, for these guards? This timing is really too narrow. I feel like there's it takes like a f half a second for Adol to actually put his shield up the moment I press the guard button. Oh no. Just one last stretch, damn it. Oh no. Really should try to go uh, a slight between the uh, big balls. Ah. That was bad. But the boss is almost dead due to Adol's stupidly high damage. Ugh. Die, Rolande. You are no longer the ruler, nor will you end this land. I was level 62, so was the boss balance for level 60 or so? Probably, so I guess I was still slightly overleveled. What a shame. Yeah, I must be overleveled because I got away with a lot of sloppiness during that battle. I only got one critical extra skill of Adol, which is pretty lame. The right has been halted. Good, this is good. Adol asks Tia to return home with him. What? Yeah, seriously. Your duty's over. We won, you lost, and you're just a normal girl now. So let's get the hell out of here and go home. Adol, Dogi. Thank you. Huh? What the? I do not like the, what these tremors represent. With the root gone, the Wall of Souls is no longer a necessary construct. Soon, this place will collapse. What? Tia, you need to come with us. I dragged too many people into this tragedy. I even spilled the blood of the innocent to speed up the process. I have completed my role. I deserve to perish here. So please, leave me. What are you talking about? Don't say things like that. 
You have no right to talk like that! Didn't I tell you? I'm not going to forgive you! But you're not the only one to blame for this! It was my people that started driving all of Otago to its end! Everyone is to blame for being foolish enough to force this burden on you! And I believe that you have a good heart! I know that you love Otago, and that you love your sister! Let's go home! We can atone for our sins! We for ours, and you for yours! Aisha! Adol reached his hand out to Tia. Okay. We don't have much time. We need to get out of here before everything collapses. Alright. Hang on your butter, everyone, because it's time to turn. Let's get the hell out of here. We're not going to keep the staff, we can always give it to Mashura in case she needs it. But then again, if the, without the real existence, we might not have any dragon energy left, so... Even the mages are just going to be normal people. Can't believe we didn't manage to run through that entire dungeon in time. Sure, there's that one shortcut that we could use at some point, but still... The Wall of Souls is sealed shut now. It looks a lot like the crater where Ease came from. The wind of destruction also seems to have cleared up. So, it's over. The order no longer exists. Everything became light and disappeared, just like that. Is that the Moon Dragon? Where are you? Destined warrior, Fel has broken the order. And fight companions, ye have fought well. This world we give to you. Order, Justice, Balance. You are now to decide for yourselves and lead this world to prosperity as you see fit. Oh right, with the root gone... Wait a minute, all our weapons were made from Dragonstones. Does that mean they disappear too? Like just crumble into dust? It's now up to us to sustain the Altago. Right? But then the dragons... No need to fear. We are the will of Otago itself. We are built but one side of the route. We leave the new world to you. Thus is our final thus is our final duty complete. And now, Altago City can start rebuilding. Now that it's safe out. Hopefully that priest has learned his lesson too. And Maya's back up. And running off to look for Tia once more. But those, of course, those random monsters are going to remain. Fortunately, they should not be too much of an issue. The Titanos should be less active in theory, right? Or maybe without the root, the Titanos would be more active. I don't know. Crazy, the miasma is completely cleared up. Ah. Krushi, what's wrong? The power! The power of the Great Flame Dragon! And my Iskin Fever! It's because the five dragon, the great dragons have all disappeared. 
And since the root's gone now too, there's nothing to cause this skin fever anymore. Yes. The beings that sustain this world have all disappeared. From here on, even if Otago loses its balance, there will be no dragons or root to set things right. If humanity should walk down the wrong path, Otago will truly end. Yeah. Well, I think you'll be fine as long as there's no global warming. We're gonna need to keep on our toes. The worst thing that can happen is that you get a banana republic or something. We will need a new world order for our world. We cannot live only for the sake of human prosperity. We must find a way to coexist in harmony with the land. Yes. We must not let the dragons down. Eh, no problem. We'll be fine. It may not go very well at first, but if we all work together... Hearing that puts me at ease. Atia? Hey, Tia? Adol, everyone. Thank you for showing kindness to someone like me. But I, like the dragons, am a fragment of the ancient order, tied inexorably to the root of all existence. Is this true for all Iskin elders? Because none of the other elders seem to be disappearing. Wait, Tia, you can't. It's given that Tia mentioned that she, it implied that she knew about the previous Dragon Warriors, it's possible that the Iskid Elder always reincarnates or something. And then they always get the, uh, the memory of the previous Elders. You're kidding, right? You can't be serious! Please don't look so sad. If you had failed, and the cycle had taken place unimpeded, I would still have died. I was doomed from the start. I am glad to have known you. I saw potential in living beings. Hey, Tia! Tia, stop it! Don't say things like that! Why? Why must you go? Do you have any regrets? Indeed I do. But for me, the hope now would only cause her pain. And I don't think it's possible. Hey, what the hell's going on? Huh? What are you doing here? I don't know. This kid just ran off all of, all of a sudden. What's going on here? Sniffle. Ah. Uh. Maya! Ah! Uh, Tia! Tia! Maya? You... you spoke! Don't go! Don't go! Tia, please don't go! Maya, you've recovered! Commander, thank you! Thank you for bringing Maya here. Stop it, I didn't do anything. That aside, what's going on here? Adol, Dogi, Aisha, everyone. Thank you for making my wish come true. I don't know what will become of Altago from here on out. But if humanity can create a new order and strive to keep it, then perhaps Altago can continue to be a land of abundance. Then maybe one day I... Maybe I'll be able to meet you all again. Wait, but without the Wall of Souls, I don't... I'm, can you even reincarnate? No! Damn it. No! Tia! Tia, no! I'm sorry, Maya. You brought me joy. I'm grateful for that. But don't worry. I will always watch over you. So please. 
Please never forget to smile. As time progresses, did the resolution just drop? The wounds of the past begin to heal. The long process of rebuilding our homes and our lives has begun. It's possible this is the PSP resolution. The five tribes are needed. Now more than ever. Zanzibar, and as each tribe raises to meet that need, it reclaims its original sense of purpose. Yeah, Zanzibar has to get, has to start playing by certain regulations. I've noticed a newfound awareness in those around me as they face the brave new world ahead. A world without the five great dragons, and without the root, where every one of us shapes our own destiny. But that is, after all, the natural order of things. We are each responsible for our own actions, and now we must face our consequences head on. Looks like the frame rate seems to have dropped a bit too. Yeah, I think this might be a video. Politically, Altago is back up and running again. The Dragon Knights have returned to active duty with heavy hearts but a newfound determination. And I, well, I've got my hands full trying to fill my father's shoes. I've always lived a sheltered life, but now it's time for me to step up and bring true peace back to Altago. Oh, I mustn't forget about the adventurer, Adol Kristen. He stuck around in Altago for a little while, helping to rebuild along with everyone else. And lost all his levels and gear. But one or less tugs at him like an invisible string. A peaceful land like this can't hold him for long. It was hard for me to say goodbye, but ultimately, I knew he had to set off on his next journey. When he and Dogi came to say farewell, I made a promise to them. I told them the next time they came to visit, they'd be greeted by fields resplendent with those white flowers she loved so much. My very little flower girl will be bringing me another one today. And she she tends to them constantly, lovingly, and it's not just to keep a promise. But to brighten the sadness of the past and welcome each day with new joy and life. And now the credits. E7. Development members. Uh, this, this game felt way more forgiving than Felgana. Even though I could not tie my flash guard at all, I still managed to scrape by with just item spamming. Kondo, was he also, was he the guy working on trails? I don't remember. Yeah, the, the party system does, uh, does pretty, uh, does make things a bit more interesting since you get an expanded skill set with each new member. That's for sure. And each party member acts as a new hit point bar. Yeah, this is uh, appar apparently less refined than Salsetta and Ease 8 in some ways. I, I, I think Salsetta at least has an auto-charging system for the uh, for attacking, so that you don't have to hold down the attack button and stuff, and sacrifice your dexterity. 
Yeah. Story, they really put a twist there. Adol, he's the chosen one, like it, it, like with Felgana and the pished him in, in the first two games, but he's chosen to be a human sacrifice. Despite that, he just rolls with it and and just beats the root of all existence, stops, and pretty much stops the trial entirely. You know, that was quite a twist. This isn't quite the first time they had uh, had a seemingly friendly character turn out to be the main villain, though Tia is portrayed a lot more sympathetically than Nicholas Garland, that's for sure. She doesn't actually want to do her duty, but she f feels that she has to, especially with uh, with Maya and everyone around her suffering fr from Iskin fever and poverty and the like. At this point, she figures that what she's doing is a mercy to the land. Sias, some of his actions are confusing, like when he tried to kill Adol early, even though Tia pointed out that doing so would actually make the right of demise worse or something. Guess he wanted to kill Adol so that Tia doesn't have to. That's my interpretation. Somehow he... Uh, somehow he thought that leaving his chest exposed would make him tougher. But it really just let me kill him in about two or three minutes. Heh. <laughs> Maya, her, her voicelessness is supposed to be a consequence of the war with Roms, I guess. I wonder if Iskin Fever had anything to do with it. Most likely not. There's Tia in her Eldris gear. Special thanks, Sarah Lean. Of course, I don't think there's any new game plus or time attack mechanics in this game, so that's pretty much it. Of course, time attack would be pretty difficult since you need to be very good at flash guarding just to crit everything into oblivion. Plus, it would present a dilemma of sequential battles because you have to use up items and such. How would they simulate the depletion of items? And yeah, that's pretty much it. I got pretty much all the achievements except for the one where I have to max all the characters' skills. And that's not really worth it. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of E7, please leave a like and subscribe and maybe press the bell icon.